Last week, we went over the QuickBooks version of Windows the, using the Windows Web Connector Kit made by Intuit and exported our information out from Flex into QuickBooks for Windows. So the main topics that we discussed last week was going under financials, going under accounting integration, setting up your basic settings, accounts, element configurations, and QuickBooks settings. So we're going to go over the changes that we have made and the new features that are in QuickBooks Online. One of the new features that we were asked to um, put in a fix for last week was we had a customer who, in our system, we had the ability to make a contact to diff as many different types of resources as you would like. For example, you could have one uh, contact in your database that is both a client and a vendor. With other systems, they would force you to put in a unique contact with a unique name in both the client and the vendor. Our system is a little bit more flexible, flexible, and so we can just simply select however many different resources they belong to. In general, when we push those elements out to QuickBooks, they need to be pushed to very specific contacts because they do not account for uh, the multiple resource types. And so by normally, when we export to a vendor, we've added it will append on a V to the end of the contact name so that it will be a vendor. If you don't want to use that setting and we can select whether you want it to push that V or whatever post fix, some people put in an asterisk, some people put in V, some people leave it blank for V. But now if you want to push it out to a specific vendor without uh, appending anything to the name, you now have the ability to select yes or no. So with no, it won't uh, put in a V to that uh, contact name. So what we have now done is we now have a new enabled accounting setting where we can either push to QuickBooks or to QuickBooks Online. The main difference between the two different versions is the QuickBooks Web Connector Kit requires the is required to go and pick up the information that Flex has ready for it. So the way we set things up on, on the Flex side of things, you have the ability to flag things as ready to invoice. Some people use that, some people go directly to generate that invoice. Once that's generated, you then have a link in the workflow that says generate invoice. With that done, it puts that piece of information or that invoice on a queue waiting to be exported. So if you would go to system settings and go to integration bus, you would see something in line waiting to be picked up. Now the QuickBooks Web, uh, Connect, QuickBooks Web Connector Kit would then be turned on on your QuickBooks Windows version and you would either set that to automatically go and pick up everything in this queue waiting to be picked up every minute, every hour, every day. I believe the majority of our customers set that to be manually engaged to say, you open up the QuickBooks Web Connector Kit and then tell it to go and pick up everything in this line. The QuickBooks Online version is set up rather differently in that it is much more of a live integration and it has basically a security session created to allow you to push information directly to there. So the way you configure this is if we again go to financials, accounting integration, we would select that we want to use the QuickBooks online version. Under the QuickBooks setting, this would start out as blank and you would hit get connection kit. This would bring you to the QuickBooks Intuit version. And this is their online connection setup. And we would hit continue. Now, you wouldn't have any connection kits created. 
you would this would be blank and you would say I want to create a new connection if you've already used it and are just refreshing you could select the connection kit that you wanted to use so we're gonna create a new connection and we're gonna call this flex rental webinar and hit continue so this will create a new connection type in general you select all accounting so it will push both the customer and the invoices and the vendors and purchase orders it'll do all that with without asking for it we'll hit continue and there are a couple settings here on the connection overview and it is when you export something it will go and query QuickBooks Online and see if you've got a valid session if not it'll ask to create a new session um, and we'll show you how that works in general if every time you hit export if you don't want to create a new session you would just hit no that anyone using flex can export it out or you can select that only um, only specific users can so if you are a user on uh, QuickBooks Online you would select that for now I would select no anyone can export and we'll select I want to turn off that security and hit create connection so this will generate a key so there's our key that we need to use we can copy that to our clipboard We'll go back to QuickBooks or to Flex, and we will now paste that into this connection kit ticket and hit accept. It'll check the settings, and now it's updated and ready to export. So, earlier this morning, I created a quote we have a brand new client that I've entered into the system so this client right now is not in QuickBooks Online I have put a new uh, I've selected a venue that I have not pushed over to QuickBooks Online yet so all these the client and the venue should be created in QuickBooks Online without any need to interact from us I have put in uh, some lighting equipment I've given it a 10% discount and then added some labor and sales tax. So there's our subtotal, there's our sales tax, there's our total. So the workflow for this system that we are using currently is set up that the quote will generate an invoice in Flex and then from Flex we can export that invoice out to QuickBooks. That is just the setting that we have for this current system. Yours could vary depending on how you want it set up. You could configure your system to say I want to from a quote export that directly to an invoice in Flex that or invoice in QuickBooks and the difference in that is you would have no intermediary invoice in Flex. It would just be a quote in Flex and an invoice in QuickBooks. I would say about 95% of our customers tend to put both the quote in Flex, the invoice in Flex, and export the invoice from Flex to QuickBooks. About 5% of our customers who use the QuickBooks integration go directly from a quote and generate that invoice in QuickBooks by exporting that quote to an invoice. So with this done, we will now hit export to QuickBooks. We will get our uh, session ticket. I believe this is an issue that one of our programmers is working on. When we selected that security to say no, it shouldn't generate the session ticket. It's something that's being modified as we speak. But for now, we'll get our session ticket it will ask us to sign in with our username on QuickBooks Online, put in our password, and hit sign in. 
There's our session ticket, which is our security uh, protocol that QuickBooks puts in. So now we have a session to be able to push directly from our system to QuickBooks Online. We'll hit OK. It'll process that. It says said that the action has been successfully performed and the status has been changed from invoice created to exported. We're now going to go over to QuickBooks Online. And here we are at my QuickBooks Online. I can go to my company information. We have a chart of accounts, things like that. We can look at our home information. Now, on our recent transactions here, we have a number, an invoice. We have the name, which was the Stagefront presentation system that we used, and that's all the information. So, if we click on this, it'll bring us directly to this invoice that we pushed over. So there's our bill to information it automatically created that customer stage front presentations. It automatically created our Orlando World Center Mary Resort. It pushed over our invoice date, our invoice number, our due date, etc. It created that lighting subtotal header information there. It pushed over our full bore lighting console, all that information. And there is our information for our subtotal and our total with taxes. So all this information was pushed over with that session ticket. So let's return to, uh, to Flex. Again, two things that you'll notice here is in, Quick, or in Flex, we have a time multiplier. And sometimes we have a rate that we're charging a single day rate at $400 a day that has a 10% discount that pushes that over to $360 an item. And a lot of this information is uh, a little bit more understandable for our customers. And let's do a bulk edit on this. I'm going to select just our lighting and we'll hit bulk edit and we'll change our time multiplier to a two times a day rate. Now what you'll notice is in QuickBooks, all you see is the amount. In Flex, you have the time times the price equals the amount. So if we re-export this out to QuickBooks, going to process that and now let's return to QuickBooks Online and let's go back to our home and you'll notice that the amount has changed And again, like we said, QuickBooks is a little bit more simplified uh, setup. You know, originally is kind of a point of sale or a bill for something. It does not have the ability to add the time multiplier and the rate. It just pushes that overall total amount for each of these items. And there's our total. So we will be working on that session ticket to polish that off to make sure it works uh, accordingly with QuickBooks and saves that session instead of having to regenerate that. Um, QuickBooks Online is a very new product offering for QuickBooks. It is not nearly as refined as their Windows version, which is probably over 10 years old. Uh, the API that they created is a little bit limiting. Right now it supports uh, invoices and payments. It does not push over 
purchase orders as of yet. That is something that we are waiting on QuickBooks to expand their API functionality so that our system can push both invoices, payments, and purchase orders directly to online. So we will have to wait for them. As you can see, I think we've done a, a really good job on this. Um, very tight integration, saves a lot of time and money for your accounting people to have to constantly recreate these invoices from Flex and into QuickBooks and a lot more accuracy in there. And with that, we thank you very much for joining us for this week's QuickBooks online version of our Get Schooled by Flex webinar.